Surprise, surprise, it's time for yet another Review Friday. Or, well, in this case, it's another Review Monday. So, let's take a closer look at Knockout City, a free trial this week. Oh, and one more thing. Welcome to the Night Shift. Let's get you guys clocked in. How's it going, everybody? It is I, your one and only shift leader, Logan, and I'm joined by the long time missing in action, the Vern and Wyvern, Evan. How you doing, Evan? Not too bad. So, we have a surprising uh, review to do. I didn't even know it was coming out this time, but we're reviewing Knockout City. They are doing a free trial for 10 days. 10 days. By the time this probably gets to you guys, it's probably going to be about 5. But if you're watching this right now and you're interested at all in Knockout City, go download this now so you can try this game out for free. Uh, it will, ahead of time I'm letting you guys know this, it will, after the free trial, it will go to its retail price, which you can do that now anyways, but it will go to its retail price of $20. So. Be, be sure to try this out while it's free. So, that all being said, let's go ahead and dive right into our review over Knockout City. If you haven't joined us before, we judge these games on four categories. We have story, gameplay, audios and visuals, and then any bugs or issues that we come across the way as we're playing the game. So, that being said, let's start off with just our overall how we feel about the game. So, Evan... Where do you feel this game is for you? Like, are you enjoying it? Are you hating it? Where, where, where are you at on it? Well, from what from what I've played so far, I'm actually pretty well enjoying it. And honestly, I did not expect to. So I'm a little I'm a little surprised because I didn't really expect to. When I first saw this on the PlayStation Store, I thought, ah, uh, it's. I didn't know what it was, so I immediately became suspicious. And then I got even more suspicious when I found out that EA was had a hand in in its creation and we all know why I we have some biases against DA but I've been very pleasantly surprised that it's it's very decent game I mean and that's kind of an understatement it's a definite understatement yeah I mean honestly I'm about in the same place you are I I knew about Knockout City I saw it when they uh, showed the trailer for it and I genuinely was interested in the game. I thought it was, I thought it looked interesting uh, enough to, you know, if it was cheap, I was going to try it out. But I, I did not know about this free trial thing. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's cool. For sure, I'll try it then. And I've been nothing but surprised. I feel like it's fresh. I feel like it's fun. And I think it brings a different take on your, you know, overabundance of 3v3s or battle royales. So, I, I genuinely really enjoyed my time in this game. So, then, starting off into our categories, we're already at a kind of rough point, because story, there's really not one. I mean, there's plenty of character in this game, for sure. But... There, it doesn't necessarily have a story mode. It's more just, you know, fighting each other, you know, 3v3 dodgeball. That's, that's I mean, literally the game. So, I think for this review, uh, we're going to go ahead and omit this category from it. So then, we're not, you know, wasting time on a, well, quite frankly, a category that would inevitably just bring it down which we don't want to do to a game that really doesn't deserve that so then we would start with gameplay and quite frankly I feel like the gameplay is very well flushed out like it's really it plays smooth the controls are unique I haven't seen controls like this I don't know if I've seen them ever I mean they're very unique, they're interesting, and it allows the character, 
you know, any player to have, you know, super mobile play styles and, you know, different types of really just tactics, not to mention the fact that you can turn around and do different stuff like throw special balls or change the way your character looks or anything like that. It, this, the sky's the limit almost in the gameplay of this. I agree. And that's and that's the, the the controls they are ex I agree with you they're extremely unique unique to the point that I don't know how to really come across them. I mean as I we said before we played some some of the actual 3v3 multiplayer and a lot of times just doing that and then also going one on one against you I realized that the I don't have any muscle memory built up for these types of controls so it is completely new for me Right. Normally in the games I play, there's generally a, a certain scheme of control. Like shooter games tend, shooting games tend to have a a general layout, control layout to them. This one's extremely unique, and it's thrown me for a loop, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just it's going to require more practice and skill. But I, I can see the way these controls are set up and the way the mechanics work is that if you do get, once you do get skilled at it, you can be very, very skilled at it. Well, and see, and like, that's the thing, right? You know, it, it allows, I, one thing I constantly said while playing this was like, wow, the balancing in this game is really good. Like, I don't feel like any one particular special ball or any particular team or anything like that felt like I never felt like I was ever at a major disadvantage yeah I've lost a bunch of times but I've not necessarily felt like oh well that was a massacre I stood no yes, chance. Yes and I, I think that the generally uh, I think that the only times when you actually do get when we actually did get wiped out is when we were dealing with another crew that you generally knew that you you had a pretty decent sense that they were communicating with each other right communicating and, and strategizing which is honestly i think that's the primary that's the only advantage you can have in this game and i'm really surprised and i'm pleasantly surprised at that that team communication and actual teamwork is the the real key to victory because yeah, it's it, like i've seen and and i can see even even though this isn't uh your traditional shooter game it's I've noticed that there are a lot of uh, shooter tactics that can come into play with this like whenever we were going one on one and I the the reason that I won several of those matches is because I happened to come across I got behind you and threw a ball where you couldn't see me you didn't know where I was and you didn't have the ability to react and counter my throw yeah and I mean that's a lot same of same thing it. with using the high ground. Same thing with using the high ground and we made those we made the jokes, but we made the jokes, but um it's it's actually very useful because that one time that last uh one v one match we did, I got my winning kill or well my winning KO because I was on the high ground and you were below me and you weren't looking at me. Yeah, and I mean there's just lots of variations of play, lots of customization and like the the gameplay that it's all part of it and it just makes this game in my opinion shine really it honestly does and the fact that they have it all so flushed out i mean even like the little things like with the th with throwing dodgeballs i mean really honestly they could have just said mm, just let them throw the ball one one way and be done but no, they said, no, we want to make sure that it's interesting and fun. And so you can throw normal throws. You can throw curveballs. You can throw, like, lob shots. I mean, there is so much customization. And it's just insane. For me, at least, anyways. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, that's the thing. And that's why I said that there's, once you get skilled at this game, you can be very very effective because with the the com you get combinations of those combinations of those uh, different methods of throwing and you combine that with the deception tactic of uh, the fake out throws 
if you actually can develop uh, love certain tactics against that, you could be a very formidable player. Oh yeah. Well, see, and like my whole my whole deal is is that I just I I feel like it's so unique and so special that I think when I get to scoring, I'm going to inevitably, you know, reward that. But we'll get to that later. So then. We have talked about gameplay for a while. So, the only other category, like real category anyways, that we have to go off of is audio and visual. And honestly, this one surprised me because not only is it just a free trial right now, but then turn around, when this game does officially release, it is a $20 game. So, in my mind, I'm sitting here going like, okay, don't expect anything amazing. You know... Expect the bare minimum just to get some just to get some cash cows or whatever. But it is really fleshed out. Like it is really detailed. I mean, to the point where I'm sitting here going like, holy cow, this is only twenty bucks. Things like the fact that like where the balls spawn in, they spray painted the lines on there and you can see the paint splatters and the and the like where they actually use the paintbrush to spread it out you know the paintbrush streaks stuff like that wood has different textures and like mold and there's stuff there's a massive attention there's a massive level of attention to detail just in the visual graphics alone and that's pretty and like i said when i said about the whole thing about ea i mean there's a big stigma out now about ea uh you know really just putting out either putting out really <sighs> rushed out games or just taking having decent games but just having them completely completely locked down with microtransactions and again there's no guarantee that they won't put microtransactions on this game but but what I'm what I meant meaning is it's very. It seems kind of uncharacteristic for EA to come out with a game with this much attention to detail, and on top of that, give it a uh, a twenty dollar retail price. And on top of that, also giving it a te giving people a ten day free trial. Mm hmm. I you know, and I know there's going to be some some viewers out there that are like, well, why are you guys trash talking EA? And it's it's not that we're trash talking. It's just. Unfortunately, with today's society, we've we've learned one too many times that you can't expect too much from companies nowadays. Their word is not uh, what it used to be. And well, I would I would change that and say that you can't expect much from companies if the customer base doesn't hold them to account, and that's sure. the primary thing. Because of what EA's done in the past, they it, at least if it's not their actual, it's not been their actual. Uh, goal it's made it look like that they think that they can put out whatever game they any game they want regardless of the quality or the level of microtransactions and assume that the their customer base will just will dutifully buy and consume it and give them large amounts of money for something that probably really doesn't deserve it and that's my only point well getting back on track though uh Visuals, like like we were saying, just very detailed, very nice. And then audio-wise, I mean, music, it it hypes you up. It's it's really fun. It, it it has its own style that just enhances the game. I think. And then it's got a nice not, type of jazzy tune. I think. I, yeah. I didn't pay much attention to the music, but it's got a lot of. There's a lot of like '50s era jazz tunes in there, and that's kind of that's kind of refreshing from the 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 types of of um music that you see in, mo in a lot of modern games a lot of a lot of well i don't really know exactly because it did changes depending on the game but this they ch they chose music that up uh, that fits with the with the graphical design and the what's the word I, i'm not very good with art artistic words the what's the word that means you know your the overall style of the complimentary of the art. Uh, that might not be the right word but then anyway I think they they made it they com they did but they did complement it with the they complemented the audio with the uh, crap I can't remember the actual word but just the genre genre is not the right word 
but just the the type of the, the type of art yeah okay i'm gonna stop talking now <laughs> no you're fine I, I i think everyone will get what you're saying because I, I, I get it you know it, they did match everything up really well and it and it you almost like when you say it out because i think what we agreed upon is this is like almost like a 50s like electro punk style 50s game. electro punk game yeah, a yeah. 50s electro punk aesthetic yeah which when you say it out loud you're like hey, you know what now but when you look at it you go oh no that actually really does kind of look cool and works i mean it it, it it's cool I, I really enjoy it not to but mention it's very interesting i i get a i i like to say i i didn't think of it before but i kind of think of it now i i get kind of a a fallout vibe to it like a fallout before the the great war and all the bombs drop yeah i, I think this I, might be like kind of similar to what you might have seen you know the the world might have been before before the nuclear holocaust yeah because it, it has a 50 it has it's modernized it's futuristic well maybe not very futuristic this is like pretty far future fallout was i mean kind of we have future. Fly, we but have the point point being cars. is that it had yeah, well, I, what I'm saying is, is that it was, it had modern, I mean, in this case, futuristic technology, but all of it was filtered through a 1950s aesthetic. Yeah. Well, and, and here's where I'm at. You know, the music adds to it and then turn around. And the big thing that I felt like set the mood and the tone for the game was that like old like radio show host you know uh i forget what he calls himself in the game but like coming on and like announcing each of the the matches giving you yeah the yeah well it's like a radio show host and he's just like he really honestly it's it's like a yeah it's a radio show but it's a radio more like a radio a a pirate radio station yeah 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 I, kind just, of a, it, like a, like a charismatic resist like not resistance leader but kind of like a, a says, voice of some sort of we'll see, and that's resistance what, movement against the the that corporate the the lar- the big uh, overpowering corporate mega mogul that you kind of that you can kind of see it in a little bit of the the very small snippets of like story that you do find in this game. Yeah, so I mean, really, honestly, it just it it's something that I feel adds character to this game, and just really helps it shine to some degree. Which you know, being an uh, an audio kind of deal, it's just something really nice. So, I feel like we've adequately talked about everything, and I feel like it's it's just time to give our scores on this and just see where we're at because. Ultimately, I want to get everyone out there so they can try this game out, you know, and possibly, you know, have a, a new, you know, game to play. But, I mean, let's let's just start with gameplay since we're omitting story just since there's not really a need for it. Uh, gameplay, I feel like it's unique, it's interesting, and it, it works for what it is. Um, I feel like... All that being said, I feel like it deserves at least an eight. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I, I would agree with you, except for the, there's there's just one thing that I could say. Out of a completely perfect, um, almost perfect gameplay experience, I mean, at least for what this is, I do see one one prop aspect of the gameplay that might turn people off, and the fact that this game caps out the player base at, at three. So, if you happen to have four or more friend, more than three friends that you want to play this together, it's not really going to work. So that that's the only thing that I could really well, but give it marks on. But, but if you had right more than three friends, if you had six friends or even five friends, right, you can do private lobbies and fill up teams that way, and then you know flip flop who has three and who has two or whatever. There's there are options, a hundred percent there are options. So mm. I, I don't feel like that's as big of a deal as some as some games, but it, it, I get where you're coming from. Right. Well, but apart from that, I really don't see any any problems with it. Uh, 
and I, I would agree with you. That's the only real problem I have. And and since we don't really go, we normally go by halves and not quarters. I'm just gonna have to agree with you on eight. I mean, uh, under ordinarily, I would probably like drop it like a quarter of a point. But since we don't do like seven and three quarters, I'm just gonna yeah. agree with you on eight. Okay, sounds good. So we got two eights on gameplay, so it's a solid eight on gameplay. And then turn around, audios and visuals. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best ever, but there's always room for improvement on things. But for it to come out for this free trial deal and it be as flushed out as it is and just look so good and have so much character and uniqueness to it, a character customization, which... Aside from the, you know, at least for me, the faces which I'm not a fan of, uh, having so much, you know, sp just interesting and special choices, I feel like the, you know, the visuals alone score it high, but then turn around and you've got the music that only enhanced the game, and then you have this announcer that just makes the game like shine even more so i feel like it gets at, at least a seven maybe even a seven and a half for me uh yeah like i said i can't i don't really think i can add anything to what you've said because everything you've said is pretty great i i would be more uh i would be more definite on my answer and i'll say definite seven and a half only because i would i'd give it more but again you're right that there is room for improvement but the problem is is that I don't really know what they can improve at the moment. Like right now, I don't really think there's anything. Maybe it's just because I'm unimaginative, but I don't really think there's a whole lot. I, as far as I can see, I don't see there being too much more that they can improve as far as audio or video is concerned. Yeah. So all in all, uh, about seven and a half for uh, uh, audios and visuals, eight for gameplay, and then. The question then becomes, do we deduct anything because of glitches and bugs? And I'm going to say a hard no on mine because a I, the only glitch that we came across, at least when I played, was the one where we were hanging out at the hideout and uh, I caught a ball, but then I was trapped in the ball. and then Yeah, you caught just, the cage ball, and the cage ball... You caught the cage ball, but then the game glitched, and you got trapped by the cage ball. Which was really... Which was good for me, but... Yeah, I mean, so but, like, it never happened in an actual game, and then turn around and no. it was... It, uh, for all I know, it could have just been an internet error, so... I, I feel like it's a, it's a no, we don't deduct for that. That's I'll agree. Right. So, all in all, we have a 7.5 and, and an 8, so really, honestly, we're in that weird realm. I'm going to round it up, just because I feel like that's the best thing to do for this. And I'm going to say we scored an 8 for uh, Knockout City. I feel, like, I feel like it's a unique game, it's fun, not to mention the fact that it is a free trial right now, so if you're not already downloading it, get it downloaded, because there's no excuse not to try it out. And then turn around, and even after that, the game's only $20. And I, I say that lightly, because I know, just as well as everyone else, money is tight. It's tight everywhere. But, you know... 20 bucks for for a game that I feel like a lot of people are gonna enjoy over and over again I feel like that's that's well worth the money so anything else to add Evan uh, not that I can think of all right well I think that's all we've got for knockout city review uh, all I want to do before we get off of here is let you guys know uh, how the next kind of month or so is going to look like in retrospect uh we are releasing this review it, obviously on a monday because you guys are watching it right now but uh what we're looking at next week is we'll be releasing our review for biomutant which comes out the 25th next monday and then the hopeful plan is to get a review of ratchet and clank rift apart out to you guys at some point but unfortunately, Rift Apart comes out literally a 
like a day before E3 launches, and we may be covering E3. So if we end up doing that, our review for Ratchet and Clank might take a backseat for a little while. So, but that's just to keep you guys informed, because like I've said multiple times, I believe in transparency with you guys, so that's all I've got for you. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.